in fact, I think I think of emerging markets as, as any market that is exhibiting really high growth characteristics where you're beginning to see a change of, of pattern where it's no longer just about uh, companies using that as a low-cost manufacturing base, for example, but, but there is a market into which there is a consumer demand for goods and services, um, which is certainly true of all the BRICs, but it's true for a number of other countries as well. And, and I would guess there are probably about 20 or so in the world that would, that would meet that test. Well, I think one of the things that they get uh, uh, wrong is uh, they concentrate solely on, uh, often on price, um, just looking for the lowest uh, price, um, either in terms of sourcing product or uh, if they're looking at putting into a, a factory into a country. They'll look at what's the lowest minimum wage in a particular country and then look at picking that when maybe the wage is only uh, a small part uh, of their total uh, uh, pricing. China's looking to move up the curve in terms of the way that it moves from low-cost manufacturing to more value-added manufacturing, um, and that presents opportunities for companies with more advanced technologies to cooperate with their Chinese counterparts, either selling to them or entering joint ventures. Vietnam is in desperate need of high education. Vietnam has to build up an elite of engineers to build up the infrastructure and Vietnam has to educate about 200 to 300,000 students in different sectors to serve the processing industry, the growing processing industry, the growing uh, industry in telecoms for example, everybody in Vietnam or every employee in Vietnam is now in desperate need of skillful, skilled, educated staff.